Hello learners, let us see how to solve this uh, fifth degree polynomial, okay? How we can get the roots for this uh, fifth degree polynomial. Okay. Now, if you'll observe, the degree of this polynomial is 5. So, it's an odd degree polynomial. Now, along with that, along with it, it's also a reciprocal equation. Now, what do I mean by a reciprocal equation? If you'll observe the coefficient of x power phi and the coefficient of constant. I mean the constant, not the coefficient. The constant, it's same. Coefficient of x power 4 and coefficient of x, it's same one. Coefficient of uh, x cube and coefficient of x square, it's same. Hence, it would be a reciprocal equation. Now, basically, this is an odd degree reciprocal equation of class one. What do I mean by class one? Is see the constant. See the constant. Okay, it is positive two. So that's why it's an odd degree reciprocal equation of class one. So x plus one is a factor of given equation. All this, which I said, it's needed for those who are writing the board exam. Otherwise, you know, you can directly verify f of minus one. Take this as f of x f of minus 1 would come as uh, 0. Then, uh, hence, you can conclude that x plus 1 is a factor of this given equation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this polynomial by x plus 1 so that I can get a quotient of degree 4. Okay, quotient of uh, uh, degree 4. Okay, and I'm going to use Horner's method of synthetic division. Okay, now stay with me in case if you are new, new to Horner's method of synthetic division, still you will understand. So stay with me. See, first what you need to do is write down all the coefficients, okay, of the given polynomial, like 2, 1, minus 12, minus 12, 1, 2, okay, like this. Next, uh, you need to divide with x plus 1. So basically, you need to write here x minus 1. You need to write here minus 1, okay. You need to write here minus 1. Here it's plus 1, so you need to put it here minus 1. Y means x plus y. If you will do x plus 1 equal to 0, x will come as minus 1. So basically here, minus 1, you need to put it. Now, next. Uh, in the beginning, uh, you need to uh, put here a 0. Okay. Now, what's 2 plus 0? It's 2. Now, you need to start cross multiplying every time. Now, see. Two, what's 2 into minus 1? Minus 2. You need to put it here. What is 1 plus minus 2? I mean, basically 1 minus 2. Minus 1, put it here. What is minus 1 into minus 1? It's 1. Write it here. What is minus 12 plus 1? Minus 11. Minus 11 into minus 1 plus 11. It, you need to write it here. Minus 12 plus 11. Minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 1. It's plus 1. What's 1 plus 1? 2. 2 into minus 1. It's minus 2. And ultimately, you get a 0. See, if you do everything correct, you will get a 0. Okay. Basically, uh, this is of, uh, these are co coefficients for our fourth degree polynomial. This 2 would be coefficient of x power 4. This minus 1 will be coefficient of x cube. Minus 11 will be coefficient of x square. Likewise, the other 2 also. So, basically, I can write this polynomial 2x power 4 plus x power 4 and this one uh, as x plus 1 into this plus remainder is 0. Okay? Remainder is uh, 0. So basically it is like uh, x plus 1 into the quotient. That's it. You see 2x power 4 minus x cube minus 11x square minus x plus 2. Now my next task is that my next task is that I need to factorize this uh, this uh, expression. 2x power 4 minus 11x cube minus I'm sorry 2x power 4 minus x cube minus 11x square minus x plus 2. I need to factorize it. Now uh, this is an even degree reciprocal equation of class one okay this is an even degree reciprocal equation of class one what what does it mean okay basically this is if you'll observe uh this uh, the degree of this uh polynomial is four so it's an even degree and it's a reciprocal equation if you'll observe the coefficients are matching of uh, x power four a constant x cube and x and this one and of class one because uh the coefficient if you'll observe of this equation it is positive hence it is a class one again as i mentioned is needed for you know ip exam now uh, the standard procedure from here okay uh, just divided by x square divide this equation by x square you would be getting this each term would be divided by x square x power 4 by x square is x square okay like the otherwise you could also use a power by a power minus a power m minus so x power 4 minus 2 it is x power 2 uh, here 1x would remain x square x square would can cancel here 1x will remain in the denominator here x square will remain as it is and ultimately you'll be getting this. Okay. Now next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the terms. I'm going to group 2x square and 2 by x square. 
one place minus x and minus one by x at one place and minus eleven at the end. Next, I'm going to take two common in the first two terms and minus one common in the next two terms. Okay, this is what I would get. Now, uh, x square plus one by x square, x square plus one by x square is nothing but, okay, it's nothing but x square plus one by x square is nothing but x plus one by x whole square minus two. Now, how is that is? Uh, what I exactly want is I want to convert this to something of the form x plus one by x. Okay, because here also x plus one by x is there, and I want this also to become of something of that form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and subtract. I'm going to add and subtract. So now, now this two I can write it as x square plus one by x square plus two into x into one by x minus two. Now if you observe this first three terms, it's of the form uh, a square plus b square plus two ab, which is nothing but a plus b whole square. This is nothing but x plus one by x whole square minus two. That's it. So this is what you will find uh, in this place. I, I you will find in the next slide uh, x plus one by x whole square minus two. Then multiply two into this and uh, two into minus two is minus four. This is what you have. And then uh, uh, so club this minus four with minus eleven. I mean, just perform the uh, operations. We will get minus four plus minus eleven is minus fifteen. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to take this x plus one by x as y. Okay, another variable. Next. This is what I would be getting: two y square minus y minus fifteen equal to zero. Now, see, in case if you are familiar with factorization method, you can do it with factorization. Otherwise, you could use a formula method, which I'm going to do it here. Okay, here a is two, b is minus one, and c is minus fifteen. I'm going to use a formula: uh, minus b plus one minus one over b square minus four ac by two a. Okay, just put on all the values which I showed uh, just now into this. Okay, you would get uh, something like this. Now, minus of minus one is plus one, minus one whole square is one. And four twos are eight. Eight into minus fifteen is minus one twenty. And again, there's a minus in the beginning, so minus of minus would be plus. So it would be one plus one twenty under root one plus one twenty. One plus one minus root one twenty one. One plus one minus eleven by four. And so this would be one plus eleven by four comma one minus eleven by four. It's twelve by four. It's nothing but three. And one minus eleven is minus ten. So hence I get minus ten by four, which is nothing but minus five by four. I'm sorry, minus five by two. Now next, in case one, I'm going to take y as three, and case two, y as minus one. Now listen, our question is not done yet. Actually, we just got y. We need to get x. Okay, y was nowhere there in the question. We just brought it for our for simplicity in calculation. Now here, uh, what was y? What, what did I take uh, y? What did I take that something as y? It's x plus one y. So just put down y as x plus one y. Now again, let's get solving. Uh, let, let's take LCM. So on the left side of four, in these two cases, so I get x square plus one by x is equal to this. X square plus one by x is equal to minus five by four. I'm sorry, minus five by two. And then uh, just do cross multiplication. Okay, two would come here. Uh, x would come here. And then send this. Uh, okay, just keep it as it is. For say, for the sake of symmetry, I kept it like this. Now bring this three x here. X square minus three x plus one is zero, and bring this minus five x here. Two x square plus five x plus two equal to zero. Now, uh, basically, we need to solve these two quadratic equations. Uh, for this one, the discriminant won't be coming a uh, you know perfect square, so it's better to go by the formula method to get roots for this. For this one, it would be twenty five minus yeah. This one will be a perfect square, so if you want, you can do it by factorization. Also, you will get the answer for this. So both the equations are here, uh, and again comparing with the standard one, a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero, you get this: a is one, b is minus three, and c is one. A is two, b is five, and c is two here. Just substitute the formula. You don't have to write it again. I just wrote it for clarity. Like it would be easy. Uh, it's everything's visible, right? Just put down the values as I have uh, shown it here. Again, minus of minus three would be plus three. Minus three whole square is nine. Nine minus four. Okay, and here in this case. Uh, Three plus or three plus or minus hundred root nine minus four. Here in this case, minus five plus or minus twenty five minus sixteen. Okay, what's nine minus four? It's five, and as I said, uh, five is not a perfect square, so just keep it as it is. Three plus or minus under root five by two. And here, twenty five minus sixteen is nine. So basically, that's a per that's a perfect square. So under root of nine would come out to be three. You can see it here. 
the this one will end here that's it you don't have to do anything further uh this one can be simplified further minus 5 plus 1 minus 3 and then minus 5 plus 3 by 4 comma minus 5 minus 3 by 4 so minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 by 4 is minus 1 by 2 and minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8 minus 8 by 4 i would get so this is what my final answer is now ultimately let's just put down all the roots at one place first root was minus 1 uh, which we got it uh, through, you know, the definition sort of thing, which we use, like this is the so hence, hence uh, x, plus, uh, x plus 1 is a factor, and then these are the other roots. Okay, let's just put them all in one place, and we are done. Not just this question, I made uh, many more questions. You can find the link to the entire playlist in the description. Okay, thank you for uh, staying with me until here. I know I made some mistakes. Uh, I fumbled a little in this video. Sorry for that. And uh, if you like this video solution, please hit that like button. And if this is your first time coming across my channel, please just subscribe to it. Thank you very much.